manufacturing or production related what and all the variable item or variable expense is given so we need to consider here the pv ratio formula is contribution divided by sales into 100 if you try to subtract from the actual sales minus break even sales so easily we can find out the margin of safety if the value basis is given so we will consider value if the cost per unit is given so we will write a contribution per unit hello everyone a warm welcome to one and all i am natesh lecturer in commerce vidyashram first grade college mysore the temple of excellence we are in the unit 4 session 2 4 semester BBA management accounting the chapter name is marginal costing okay my agenda is under marginal costing statement you will get a marginal costing statement how you want to prepare using a sales variable cost fixed cost what and all is required for the formula so with the help of statement only we are expecting okay and the terms used in the marginal costing with the formula okay so completely the what and all the formula is coming under the marginal costing okay how we are try to applique, apply and the marginal costing problem there are few problems uh, which is related to marginal costing okay so the, seeing the management they with the help of marginal costing okay using a marginal costing the decisions making is very easy okay so there is one question the format which is related to marginal costing statement so the first one particular inner column amount column and outer column amount column the first one sales in case the question if it is sales return or okay the sales return or return inwards is clearly given in the question now we need to subtract two item from the grass sale if you try to subtract sales return or return inwards okay so then we are whatever we are getting we call it as a net sales okay if it is not given no problem directly we can consider for the sale after specifying the sales so we need to subtract the variable cost or marginal cost variable cost which is key uh, the name only suggesting which is keep on vary okay the material or uh, labor okay the other expense which is related to variable okay so uh, what and all is coming under here variable so the direct materials which is varied so we need to write in the inner column if the number of item is more than one so we need to write in the inner column and the direct labor or wages which is given in the question we need to write inner column and the direct expense which is also varied so that's what we are writing under the variable items okay and the manufacturing or production related what and all the variable item or variable expense is given so we need to consider here okay now other variable expense and other overheads which is related to the complete variable okay so take the together total right in the outer column from the sales we need to subtract the variable cost or marginal cost if you try to subtract you are immediately you are getting a contribution margin or contribution okay from the contribution we need to subtract the fixed cost or fixed overheads or fixed expense okay what and all which is fixed which is a constant which is which cannot be changed the variable cost is keep on vary but fixed cost cannot be vary which is always fixed in question if they specify 50 percent consider variable the amount is given the 50 percent if they clearly specify 50 percent is going for the variable the remaining 50 percent they won't specify we need to consider so remaining 50 percent which is coming under the fixed overheads okay so what and all uh, first one administration cost either the material your production is going or not going you need to bear the rent which is uh, fixed the salary is fixed so which is administration related cost uh, and the fixed production overheads if they are clearly specified in the question which is coming or which is going for the fixed overheads item we need to write inner column because the number of items are increasing and other fixed overheads according to the information what and all they are providing so we need to think properly take the together total we need to write in the outer column from the contribution we uh, when you are subtract the fixed cost or fixed expense or fixed overhead so finally we are getting a if it is positive we will call 
profit if it is negative which is going for loss okay so moving forward so the terms used to marginal costing with the formula the first one profit volume ratio or short we are writing here pv ratio how to calculate pv ratio okay why you want to refer this statement the pv ratio formula is contribution divided by sales into 100 okay or one more formula contribution per unit divided by selling price per unit into 100 so which is giving a same answer okay so we need to connect the relationship between the contribution and sales okay now at the time of preparing a marginal cost statement the sale is going for the top okay the contribution is coming in between right okay so here the formula to find out the pv ratio and moving for the break even point now before break even in unit you you must understand the concept like break even point so there is no profit there is no loss we call it as a break even point okay with the help of the chart easily which is visualizing properly so there are two types we are identified here the break even in units means what the quantity how much you are producing okay so the formula is very simple to find out the break even in unit numerator fixed charge or fixed expense denominator contribution okay so with the help of statement only we are getting whatever we are required to depend on the formula so the complete statement basis only we are getting the information okay so next one break even in value or sales value or sales break even unit means quantity of production the break even sales or value which is based on the value so same thing the same formula fixed charge or fixed expense divided by contribution per unit into selling price if you multiply which is giving for the break even in sales or you can apply one more formula to find out the break even point in break even point in sales value so fixed expense okay divided by pv ratio or one more formula break even in u value or uh, sales uh, break even in unit uh, just now we calculated we need to multiply the selling value whatever it is given okay sometime in the question they will specify it for the two condition or two situation the first situation we are calculating normal rate of a selling price or normal rate of variable cost or normal rate of the contribution the second situation they will specify if it is increased 10 percent or decreased 10 percent in respect to any key factors okay so the material labor contribution whatever it may be so next one margin of safety so the margin of safety the how to calculate margin of safety the actual sales value which is given in the question for example the quantity or output or budgeted production is given so now quantity into selling price selling price so which will give you the actual uh, sales okay the actual sales value we are considering to calculate the margin of safety okay and the minus break even sell so in the previous slide you got an idea about how to calculate the break even sell if you try to subtract from the actual sales minus break even sales so easily we can find out the margin of safety and uh, now next one the calculation of sales so when profit is given okay now you need to calculate how much sales is required okay the profit is given the sales you need to find out if the sales is given you need to calculate profit so here the formula is very simple require sales how much you are expecting okay because the profit you already you know okay the formula is very simple total fixed cost total fixed cost plus revise profit revise profit which is given in the question so we need to uh, write in the numerator okay along with the fixed cost divided by pv ratio okay pv ratio in the previous uh, slide you got an idea about the pv ratio how to calculate okay the contribution divided by sales into 100 okay now next one calculation of sales when profit is estimated sales given the sales is given in this situation we need to ca calculate the profit how we calculate profit so for that reason 
So the contribution of sales, uh, first you need to calculate the contribution of sales, how we are calculating the whatever the sales value is given, the sales value is given, we need to multiply with the PV ratio, the sales is given in the question, the sales into PV ratio, whatever you are getting, you need to write in the amount column, from this we need to subtract the fixed cost. If you subtract the fixed cost, the difference uh, which is called as a profit because we are expecting a profit, the sale is given in the question. How much we are expecting a profit because of the sales which is completely calculation part. So moving forward, there is one question to understand much better, practically you can get a more clarity to calculate. The following information is furnished by Sri Ram Traders Limited for the year ended 31st uh, uh, December 2010, uh, the sales value is 15 lakhs is given, okay, direct material is given, uh, now which is called a uh, variable, okay, and the direct labor cost, uh, labor cost or uh, labor wages is given, uh, 3 lakh 7,500, now the manufacturing expense is given, now in the bracket they clearly specify out of 3 lakh 75,000, only variable is 1 lakh 50,000, okay. So the administration expense 50% uh, fixed, okay, uh, now 1,75,000, 50% calculated means actually, so 50% remaining 50% which is going for the variable, no doubt. Next, uh, selling expense, 100% variable, the selling expense 100% variable, according to the question information only we can decide here. So 67,500 uh, we, uh, we consider for variable expense here. Okay, so from the above information, find the following. The first one we need to calculate PV ratio. We know the formula to calculate the PV ratio contribution divided by sales into 100. Now, BEP they specify, uh, which is applicable for to find out the unit as well as sales value. Okay, now unit value as well as sales value, or now how we can calculate. Now, sales require to earn profit, to earn profit, profit value is given, now we need to find out the sales. Okay, next one, profit, when sale is given 13,50,000, okay, now 13,50,000 into PV ratio, okay, so whatever the answer you are getting, we need to subtract the fixed cost, okay, so easily we can get to the, okay, last one, the margin of safety, margin of safety, the formula actual sales value is given 15 lakh, we need to get a PVP, BEP in sales, okay, so that's what the related information. First, we are preparing the marginal statement, whatever the information is given in the question. The first one, marginal cost of statement, particular two columns I have specified, the sales value is given in the question 15 lakhs directly. There is no sales return, that's what I have not written in the inner column, directly outer column. So from the sales, we need to subtract the variable cost, what and all, which is given in the question. So the direct material, there is no percentage or not given, directly value is given, I have written one, 4,75,000. Okay, and the labor is given 3,7500, so have clearly specified 3,7500. Uh, moving to the manufacturing expense, uh, the manufacturing expense we need to consider only for 1,50,000 from the 3,75,000, the remaining will go for the fixed. So I have specified a variable 1,50,000. Moving for the administration expense, administration expense 50% uh, uh, fixed and remaining 50% is a variable. So have written administration out of 1,50,000, is going for the variable, okay. Now selling expense, they, uh, they clearly specified in the question 100% treated as a variable expense. So 67,500 whatever is given, so we need to take all the total, we need to write in the outer columns so after adding all 10,75,000, we are following the format from the sales, we need to subtract, so 15 lakhs minus 10,75,000, so we are getting a 4,25,000, we call it as a contributions, okay, so which is the value basis given, so we will consider value. If the cost per unit is given, so we will write a contribution per unit, okay. So now after, uh, according to the format, we uh, after getting the contribution, we need to subtract the fixed cost, okay. So in the adjustment, in the information, we again, again we are referring, 
so there is only adjustment related to manufacturing and administration okay so manufacturing expense uh, 3 lakh uh, which is given in the question 3 lakh 75000 3 lakh 75000 3 lakh 75000 okay minus 1 lakh 50000 which is going for the variable the remaining 2 lakh 25000 which is coming under the fixed category and the uh, administration expense uh, 1 lakh 50000 is given 50% is going for the variable and remaining 50% coming under the fixed so 75000 uh, take the together total and uh, write out a column 3 lakhs so from 4 lakh 25000 minus 3 lakh we are getting 1 lakh 25,000 which is a profit. So the profit is not useful for the any formula which is not at all depend for the formula. So till the contribution everything is depending here. And moving for the first formula in the question PV ratio. We know the contribution divided by sales is into 100 is a formula. We got uh, contribution 4 lakh 25,000, sales value 15 lakhs is given. So easily we can get a percentage 25, 28.33%, 28.33%, okay. After getting the PB ratio, now we are uh, trying to go for BEP in sales, okay. So unit is not required. So BEP in sales, uh, how are we can call it as a BEP in value. So fixed expense which is given in the, uh, from the format we got uh, 3 lakh. Okay, uh, divided by PV ratio 28.33 into 100. If you multiply, you are getting BEP in sales value 10 lakh 58,824. Okay, next one, the third uh, uh, information which is related to calculation of sales. Uh, when profit is given, when profit is given, okay, now what uh, uh, the standard formula we need to apply. Required sales, you need to find out how much uh, sales you uh, require to earn profit 150. The formula uh, in the numerator we are writing total fixed cost plus desired profit or reserved profit divided by PV ratio. This is also possible. Okay, and the fixed cost uh, in the format uh, in the statement we got 3 lakh and the reserve profit we are expecting 150 divided by PV ratio 28.33 into 100. So obviously the required sales 15 lakhs 88,235,000 sales when you are expected. So obviously you can receive the profit for 1 lakh 50,000. The calculation of sales when profit is okay when calculation of sales when profit is 13 lakh the sales value is given the sales value is given now we need to find out profit okay the value is very okay now 13 lakhs now immediately the contribution of sales 13 lakh 50000 into pv ratio okay we are getting 3 lakh 82500 okay the profit uh, from this we need to subtract a fixed cost 3 lakhs if you subtract 82,500 we are getting which is considered for profit compared to profit uh, the sales value is, value is more okay the profit is less now to last one the margin of safety how to find a margin of safety actual sales which is given in the question actual sales minus break even sales just now we found okay so actual sales 15 lakhs minus break even sales we got uh, 10 lakh 58822 so if you try to subtract the margin of safety 4 lakh 41160 176 keep on watch for next section thank you